28-year-old female presents to the emergency department with an elevated temperature and an increase in white blood cell count. She reports having suffered a stab wound in her back a few weeks ago. The physician suspects that she has a retroperitoneal infection. Which of the following structures is a retroperitoneal organ and could possibly be infected? In this question, you have to be able to know which of the structures are going to be retroperitoneal organ structures. That's how you're going to be able to pick the correct answer. So the mnemonic we have for the retroperitoneal structures is going to be sad pucker. When you're applying this mnemonic now, you're going to be looking at your answer choices and you're going to pick the answer that's going to be within this mnemonic. You want to be able to know the key difference between a retroperitoneal organ and an intraperitoneal organ. And that's the concept being tested in this question. First answer choice, stomach. We know that the stomach is going to be an intraperitoneal organ. Therefore, we can eliminate it. The transverse colon. That's also going to be an intraperitoneal organ. The tail of the pancreas. So this is where things can be a bit specific here. So let's just leave that one because we know some aspect of the pancreas is going to be retro and some aspect is going to be intra. Ascending colon. We know the ascending colon is a retroperitoneal organ. So we're going to keep it also. J genome, that's going to be an intraperitoneal organ. Therefore, we're left with C and D, or 50-50. Looking at our pancreas, we know the head and the body are going to be retroperitoneal. However, the tail of the pancreas is going to be intra. Therefore, we can eliminate that, and the sending colon definitely is going to be a retroperitoneal organ. So we need to know all the organ structures that are going to be retroperitoneal. And the mnemonic SADPACA will be the best guide we have for that. You want to be able to differentiate and understand the difference between intraperitoneal and retroperitoneal. So when we mention intraperitoneal organ, we mean that the entire surface of that organ is going to be covered by peritoneum. When we mention retroperitoneal organ, we mean that only the anterior surface of that organ is going to be covered by peritoneum. Therefore, when we talk about sad pucker, we are discussing the retroperitoneal organs. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and if you have any questions you can contact us in the email provided in the description below.